Welcome back everyone, it is good to be back. Wombat's back for another flight in a Microsoft Flight Simulator and welcome to everybody on the stream at the moment. Uh, I can see a Garwin and Icarus out there uh, and we're flying, at least one's a little bit different because it's got quite a few mods, well not quite a few mods, it's got a mod uh, the Manila Bay, it's got the resorts. We're not actually going to go into the town, the, the city of um, Manila, but uh, so we're in the Philippines. Uh, we're going to go to the resorts. Uh, so it's actually a short flight plan, very short flight plan, but we are going to be landing and water landing pretty much at every resort. So uh, yeah, so good day to Icarus uh, and good day to Garwin out there. Uh, it's good to see you guys here. I hope you guys are having a good evening uh, or afternoon. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy the visuals. So yes, if you don't have the mod and Garwin, you are 100% right. It is, uh, it needs a lot of dependencies to run. Uh, so I just got the latest version from the developer. Uh, he sent it to me last night. Uh, there was one little bug in it and he has resent me literally uh, Hours ago, I got the latest one that fixed a couple of a uh, couple of uh, uh, textures and so forth that weren't there. Um, so you, it's a work in progress. It's always a work in progress. So the newest version, he said, will be released uh, not too long away, and that's what I've got. And they've added quite. So what we're going to do when we land, we're actually going to have a good look around the area. So some of the resorts that he's uh, put in there, and sort of have a bit of a walk around each resort. Uh, so yeah, and there's a lot of camping sites, a lot of people on the beach, there's, all, there's lots and lots of things in here. So, and, and, and I'll start off with this where we are right now. Uh, so yeah, so let's, let's get it started. Um, and obviously I'm going to zoom into the guys down here. And then I'm going to zoom back out and show you what's on this island. And then we're going to head off. Crashed to desktop, I saw you disappear. Good day, Stu. Hi, Gammy. Hi, Chris. Hi, Gowan. Good day, Stu. Yeah, so as you can see already, Icarus is a little bit high, and that's just because he doesn't have the uh, texture, the uh, the act pack, the flight sim pack. That's okay. So I'm using the Beaver, but uh, this, this if you have got all the models, uh, sorry, uh, the actual mod, uh, choppers, helis, are another way to go. So you definitely need floats or you need helis. Lots of heli pads around. Um, so let's have a look quickly on this island before we depart. So obviously looking pretty smick. Uh, there's some smoke going off up there. That's interesting. But there's a port over here which we're going to fly over. Uh, no problem, Stu. Well, I'm just going to take a bit of a tour around the island. Let's speed this up and uh, show you around this island. So drone is sped up so obviously we've got a bit of a marina or a, a, a little protect a wall here to uh, protect the boats in the uh, little uh, marina there looking really nice with the rocks there's a lot of cliffs and rocks and things like that around so that's cool so this is all done up obviously we've got the uh, the pier, the wharf, the marina here as well. Got some buses, some shelters. And then on the other side, we've got the same. Got a really nice uh, little marina here, which is done up pretty nicely as well. So it's a very visual. This is all about the visual. There's a heli pad as well. There's lots of heli pads around, guys. So again, if you go to Halley's and you have this add on, you will be absolutely loving it. So he's got a lot of uh, general things. So a lot of detail. People walking around and disappearing. <laughs> uh, but looking really smick. And then I think there's one right behind us. Probably making everyone dizzy. Uh, and then another one. A pretty lot of detail in here too. So really nice models. But again, these are all because of the dependencies. Uh, so love pick of the new Super Tomcat. Yes, the Super Tomcat's out. I did pick up the uh, new Archer, the new uh, 
from Caronado. So yeah, obviously I like the, the um, GA, so, and there's all the cliffs. So that's that, let's get off the ground. We're gonna fly over all of these anyway. Lots of beautiful cliffs around, so there's lots of visuals. And even some of the boats have helipads, so if you got the heli out and you had this, you'd be able to land on it. Land on them. I'm just arming and arming about the Super Tomcat, and that's just because I have the other Tomcat, uh, Stu. So I don't know if I need two lots of Tomcats. But I know it's the Super Tomcat. <laughs> There's Icarus lining up. So again, bear in mind, it's a work in progress, guys, so things might uh, not look as they should. But uh, I think it's pretty good. So let's get in there. Uh, we'll take off the yoke belt. Well, let's get off the cover. Do so everything's working good. It's going to be three Tomcats soon. Holy moly, shoot. Holy moly. Good day, Space Podcast. Hello again, legend. What's going on? Uh, yeah, we've got to get this uh, bird started. Full tank of fuel. Whenever I run out of fuel, yell out to me, change tanks. Change tanks. We're going to keep the weather on tropical rays. 11.39 in the run. That's pretty cool. Fuel is full. All right, we can uh, pretty much get ourselves. Hopefully, I haven't fl had that on. Ooh, had the batteries on. Hopefully, we haven't flattened the uh, bird. Uh, that's on. We put beacon on while we start. All right. Just ignore. Uh, Icarus there, nice and doing some hovering in the beaver. Going to turn that music down a tad. Right, so let's put some lights on. And we can now put you back. Good. Yeah, no problems. All good, Garwin. There's an A, B, and C. Remember, got the A, B, C. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Exactly, Stu. So there's so many. Um, so I'm. I know it's such a. It's probably one of my favourite fighter jets in the sims so i think it's one of yours too so yeah so I, I want it but i don't know if i can justify it i was playing flight sim as flight from southern thailand to singapore with the singapore a330 it crashed because the game glitched the wings disappeared i tried and failed <laughs> all right let's go Let's go. I don't know if my brakes are on or not. We'll find out. Brakes are on. Brakes are on. But we're not going anywhere. Come on, brakes. You're on or off? You're off. There you go. All right, Icarus can take off. Go, Icarus. Your magical uh, beaver just floating there. Fully understand if you don't want to get the uh, mod because there's so many dependencies, but once you look at this, at least get it once and then uninstall it just to have a look around because it's brilliant. Oh, I just saw someone pop in. Nice. I didn't put any of the flight plan. The flight plan's on my Discord, but I didn't write any of the uh, uh, destinations and, and flight plan uh, and airport codes on the description because 
There is none because it's basically just waypoints. So you definitely need my flight plan. A magical beaver. <laughs> New show coming soon. <laughs> uh, all right, we got We got to start with this, don't we? We got to start with this if it works. Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. There we go. We had to start with that. Uh, okay, so let's take off. Let's go. I'll just uh, be underneath. <laughs> Again, crash the desktop. Hey, you have no luck at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. I use Streamlabs for my live YouTube videos, but the stream software says frames missing and it lags. Yeah, it could could be a lot of things. It could be system performance is struggling to do both at once. It could be obviously your net connection. Um, could be a lot of different things. Drop in frames. All right. I don't know how we're going to go with the floats getting off in time. But this is being sort of gets and throw down some extra flaps and, and we can go from there. Should be good. Should be good. We go through some trees. It's it's part of the fun. Icarus is up. We're up. We're gonna take a left. We're gonna fly over through the balloons, and then fly over to uh, some of these beautiful resorts and do lots of water landings. There's one run a little airstrip. Probably not the best for a float plane. Uh, in the mount, in a sort of a hilly mountainous region, uh, with a resort right near it, so that's a good challenge to land at. So there you go, you got another another boat here to land on if you've got a chopper. Yesterday's SnowRunner video was amazing, laughed a lot, Barker and you since he fell over, yeah, I know, it was great fun, great fun, loved it. And we'll be doing lots of that, as this, as we said, and you might be joining us, so it's gonna be good fun. This is my first uh, full flight with uh, the new graphics card too, so we'll see, we'll see if it copes. So it's all about this mod, all right? It's the middle, it's in the description. Uh, Manila Bay Resort mod, uh, which I should have shown you on a map where it in what it includes, but forty ninety now, shoe forty ninety, courtesy of a warranty on my other card on my thirty ninety. Look at that. Looks nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, we're going to turn those landing lights up. There you are. Off. Very nice. Shoes in the air. One buck of ruse. <laughs> you can't put the ruse on the end. <laughs> All right. And then uh, there's nothing up here other than I think a helipad. So we're just going to fly over here to show you there is a helipad they put in. Uh, uh, well, it's normally here. I have seen it. There it is. Helipad. Oi! There's Stu. Oh! Chosen a nice one. Love the red colour. I could have taken this in the red. It's one of my favourites. Alright, let's head to the first island. Second island, because we started on an island, I guess. So 
those space podcasts you by any chance does this plane have VTOL for helipads <laughs> hey, you saw Icarus before he was floating in the air uh, this one probably you couldn't land in it you can land pretty it can take short sure, it's got a, a reasonable VTOL but sorry S toll I should say not VTOL it's got a reasonable S toll but uh, definitely no VTOL there we go. Got a yacht going there for a sail. Tell me, you could have reminded me to put my gear up, guys. It's all right. Oh, gear up. What's going on? Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Oh, no. Here we go. We're working now. There'll be lots of low flying, lots of landing in the water. Uh, sorry, Spacepod, I was going to ask you, um, I know you snow runner, and now you've told me flight sim. What other uh, what other sims or games do you do you play regularly? So again, all these uh, rocks and have been put in, so that's pretty nice. Making it look a little nicer than the standard Microsoft stuff. Got a marina put in over here. We're not landing at this one. We'll land at the first port of call, which is across to mainland Philippines. So they've just put in that marina, some rocks, rockeries. There's another helipad there. You got some canoes over here, or kayak, whatever that is. Look at that. Very nice, very nicely done. All right, let's head to our first resort. And there's a little bit of a surprise in the bay here. You'll see some uh, military hardware. There's a military base we'll come across as well. Some don't. Yes, Garwin's 100% right. Some do not, Space Pods. I pay KSP, as you can probably guess by my name. I also have XP. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, trying to download SnowRunner for when you can do it, but haven't got the space required at the moment. <laughs> Justin Evo, a good day. Justin Evo. Are we going to spam? Are we going to spam? Come on, Justin. Don't spam. But I'll clear the cage tomorrow. All right, no problems. Easy done. Thanks, Justin. Thank you, and welcome to the stream. We're flying to the Philippines. We're flying to some of the Manila Bay resorts, or it's just outside the bay. Uh, the first resort is uh, a golf club uh, resort, which is the Porto Azul Golf Club and Country Club. So we're going to go and play around the golf. Uh, and you can already probably see some military hardware in the bay here. It's just steady. Jacket, Super Wombat, Super Wombat. Oh, welcome to the stream, Jacket. We're flying in the Philippines, so it's probably something that will warm you up. For where you are, Jacket. Now this little fort here, I haven't got the details on it, but it's obviously a fort from the past. That is a separate mod. That's not included in this mod. I just got that. That's uh, Otherwise in the sim, it just comes up as a thing. But that actually is a true to life fort, obviously from history. That is still there. Uh, and there you go. We're doing a sub. That is going through the bay. And I think, Jacket, for your sake, it's a British sub. I saw a British flag. I saw an English flag on it. Yep. Sure is.
All right. Yeah, cool sub. Love it. Get some altitude. <laughs> uh, uh. Yes. I'm not politically correct at all, Jacket. Not at all. I may have been in that occasion, but... <laughs> Gavin, what about it's a British sub? The fact you can't say British without it sounding like British, unless you had the seizure, of course. <laughs> uh, all right, this is our first. We're coming in. We're going to land right next to this yacht in the little bay area here, and we're going to check out the golf club. As I said, the flight plan itself you can get done if you're not landing in about 27 minutes, to be exact. In the beaver. All right, let's go and look. again. There's some canoes uh, running through here, or, or kayaks, maybe. But we've probably got to do that. Oh no, this is not the. Uh, I'm in the wrong place, guys. <laughs> We're not landing here. Well. I'm gonna go one more across. Oh, there's a bird. You knew where to go. <laughs> this is better. This is better. Now we can take it down. So this is pretty cool. There's a lot of eye candy here. Look at this rock formation here. Are we gonna stop in time? That's the, that's the problem. I'm trying to go in slow, guys, because that's it. Oh. That's all right. It's going to be good. We're going to go uh, line up on the docks here. Look at this. Oh, there's another one. Got a chopper on the back. So this is really nice. We're going to go and park her up here. We're going to go for a bit of a wander. Watch the guy. There's lots and lots of lots of stuff around here, so you've got to be careful. Got the windsurfer. Got a couple of them. But look at this. How good does this look as we approach? Actually, we might be able to... I've noticed sometimes the uh, anchor doesn't work, but I do have to turn the engines off for it to work. So I'm going to park her up here. We've got some boats uh, on the beach. I bet you this windsurfer here is going to go through something. Oh, he's coming our way. <laughs> The helipad. We're gonna we're gonna go and line up at the helipad. See if we're gonna stay still when we turn these engines off, and we throw on the rudder. Sorry, the rudder, the anchor. Where's the anchor? There we go. Good, worked. All right, Stu's landed. Let's go check out uh, the scenery here. Oop, we're gonna get up here. Eventually I'll find the right one. Here we go. All right. Here we go, so we'll start from out here. We're gonna come in. So we've docked our boat or our plane. We go through, looking pretty smick. I'm just gonna slow the camera down a bit. 
better. As if we're walking along. Yeah, it's a new mod, Stu. It's free. It's free on flightsim.to. Whoa, whoa. So we're just pretending we're having a walk. Got you got everything here. Look at this. Look how good this has been done. It is smitty. You got guys in the boat. Look at that. It is beautiful. I wanted to showcase this because this is one reason I'm I'm so much into flight sim is because I like to be able to travel the world and we all know Google Maps came around or was copied, however you want to look at it. And it changed the perspective as how everyone could see the world. But then Flight Sim has done this. Taken all the Google Maps or Bing Maps, whatever, and uh, you can now actually visit places like we're doing now. Like, how good is this? Like, have a look at this amazing detail. Like, it's absolutely phenomenal. And this is, this is free. Like, I'm sending, if, if he's watching, as I said, I got the latest version. This is only in the latest, this part of them, it hasn't been released yet. Most of it has, but this actual resort area I'm showing you now hasn't. Um, all right, look at that, you got the golf, the huge golf buggy, limousine golf buggy. Now you check this out, like absolutely detail. Look at this, look at this. They got no table. <laughs> As I said, it's a work in progress. We got a guy, he's using his phone, he's going, he's going nuts. He's doing a business deal. It's someone doing a workout. People d dancing, having fun at the pool. Check it out. But I mean like, this is what you can do now. There's the resort or the country, this is the country club at the golf club, I'm guessing. Again, this is all free guys. Oh, this one's got a table. Everyone just loves to be on phones. Look, no one talks these days. Let's have a rest. There's two of them on the phones, one in a book. Again, oops, sorry guys, makes you dizzy, but check it out. Really nice. Come down on the beach, see some of the rocks. Uh, what do we got on the beach? Here we go. Looks like a luxury pad here. Look at this. Look at this. Like, come on. Come on. I know this is uh, not actual Asorbo or Microsoft. This is Microsoft Flight Simulator and an amazing mod. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, you can fly anywhere and have a trip. It's not just about flying, it's about visiting places. Oh, ignore this person in the air and doing stuff. But again, work in progress. So ignore some of the uh, bugs. But again, look at look at the detail. No, we've got a pond. We've got a pond or... A... Look at that. Luxury, absolutely luxury. Don't know if there's anything else over here. Just rockeries, boats, but then that you got the arch over there. So absolutely stunning. There's uh, somebody out in the buggy. When you can legally buy jetpacks, will there be a possibility for human strikes like bird strikes? <laughs> There's a practice. This must be a practice hole. It's it's going to be a hard one to putt on, though. <laughs> I think there's much more. That's just standard Microsoft detail. All right, we'll fly back to the plane and take off. But that's it. That's that's it. That's just stunning. Look at that. Got a boat over there in the a little or the river there. Oh, the bridge has been put in as well. All right, we'll head back to the boat. Oh, the boat, the flying boat, and uh, 
If you've never been or visited here before, well, now you have. Courtesy of Microsoft Flight Simulator and this awesome free map mod of Manila Bay and its resorts. Alright, let's head off to the next. So, yeah, as I said, it's a short flight plan, but it won't, it'll be a long flight just because we're going to be landing everywhere. Let's go. Hello, Sandman! Wombat's plane boat disappeared after Stu stole it. <laughs> Gowan's in the air! Better put those uh, rudders up. All right, so there's no resort on the next one, but we'll just do a low flyover. Hope you're doing well too, Sandman, mate. <laughs> so there's a bit of an airstrip up there with some trees on it. Didn't notice that. Oh, actually, I'm going to do a fly... I'm gonna this has got an area to land. This has got a resort, guys. This has got a resort. Looks like I'm landing here too. <laughs> you guys are going to get frustrated. Yeah, we're going to land here. There's a resort here to check out. It's got some cars and pools. You guys can just keep doing uh, circuits around me. I'll be quick on this one. As I said, I'm showing it off. This is the whole goal of this, uh, showing this off. Uh, so... I know you guys don't probably, or most of you don't have this in, this mod in, so. Oh, mate, it is a smick. It's a working like a charm. We're coming in too fast on this one, hey? Whoa. That was uh, not probably a very good landing, but it put us down. No. How about? Whoa. Alright, just gonna quickly throttle back. Just gonna park her here and quickly show you anchor down. Quickly get out. Oh, I was very lucky. Very lucky. Alright, quickly, so here we go. We got the again, look, we've got somebody already here waiting to uh, head off or head here. We've got someone fishing. Got someone throwing stones from a wooden deck, but there's no stones. Got people there all ready to go. Got a couple of kids headbanging there to some music. That's doing some pretty cool moves. Sunday, Sunday. It's Monday, Monday for me. We've got someone going for a swim. I hope there's no jellyfish out there. A bit of a wreck with boats.
in the songs. We've got a car. Looks like we've got a resort. Yep, another resort. Just a small one. Again, we've got a couple of uh, models that aren't there. Some baking. Got some serious problems with it. The... They're nice. That's it. That's another resort. Let's go. Cool. Got a bit of a shack over there. Let's get back and let's keep flying. Kept everything on. Hopefully, we'll be right. Did you say, just say there's sun bacon? Sun bacon. <laughs> sun bacon. All right. Let's go. Crap in VR. Still jealous of all you guys in VR. Oh, we better put the rudders up. All right. Just looking at the scenery, you guys. No landing. Got a beach uh, with, I think, one little sort of a holiday home or Airbnb, who knows. But how good does it look? Absolutely stunning. continue. There is another resort here, but we won't land at this one. We'll just do a very low and slow flyover with some flaps. Oops. Oh, look at that. Stutter. Oh, that's the models coming in. All these models over here. There's a lot of different uh, model buildings down here. Oops, forgot to kill the pesky like button one second. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. We'll do a couple of flybys of this resort. So some low flaps. So this is nicely done as well. I think he's done a good a bit of an update here since I last visited. As he's got a helipad now at the back. Nice. Another pool. He's done all this work on the left side. Very nice. Another pool, another resort. Halipad, as I said, it's a good place. All these buildings have been at. Oh, there's a hang glider, dude. Come back for another flyover. Looking very nice. Very nice indeed. Was it a paraglider? I thought it was a hang. I didn't see an engine on there, but could be wrong. Again, a few a few helipads for the uh, folks who like to fly some choppers. There's a resort. There you go. Very, very nice. No, you're right. It's a paraglider. You are right. I am. Oh, no, that is a paraglider and a hang glider. Sorry. That is beautiful. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Well worth it. Told you it was going to be a short flight. <laughs> We're going to have to do another landing soon. Another, another beach being done up here. You can see he's put in the palm trees. Hold up.
keeping these flaps down just so we can take it slow around here. Very nicely done. Top there as well. Sat here with my Jack Russell Terrier. He's not entertaining, but sure. But I sure am. He's sleeping away. Look at that. Oh, it's always hard to fly from this angle. This would be perfect in VR. I would love to have VR for this flight. So thinking of the uh, Victoria Falls mod, which obviously you have to pay for, which is stunning by the way, I would buy that a hundred times over. Um, this one's for free. This one is for free. Another heli. Oh, this might have, this is the army base. This is the army base, guys. I should land and go check out the army base. All right. We can do that. Oh, this is this is not this could this might work out too well. Not landing, not landing. Just look at the army base. There it is. on to the next and there's a resort down the bottom that's called Katsun Car can't really resort a resort right near the army base that's where you want to have a resort check out this island out here Thank you for everybody who's currently watching. Appreciate it. And thanks to the guys flying along. I know for you guys... Oh, the boat's going to go through the uh, island. Uh, I know for you guys, it's not probably all the visuals you don't have. So, apologize. But you can always watch the, the YouTube to see all the visuals. Oh, I can't read that long message at the moment. Space pod. There's a resort. There's something here. We'll have a look. Pull up early and uh, get the old camera. I could press pause, but... hard angle to uh, land on. Rudders down. Couple of camping tents. Looks like a bit of a shh.
All right. Oh, did we put the anchor down? No, we're moving. I'm at it. Let's go have a look. Very nice. Oh, we've got people on the camping on the beach. That's pretty cool. Beach Shack. This is where I took the screenshot from, you guys. No one else over there. Nah. Beautiful. People pumping up on the... Uh, seaplanes Gulf Island seaplanes very nice another guy fishing luckily the camp is the one time camped out a bolt of lightning woke me up at 3am <laughs> ah. go on engine start yeah oh no 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 no, nope, that's because my mixture, that's my fault. Should start up now. Come on. Alright, let's stop you for a minute. Have a look at what's going on. Alright, uh, mixture up. And you're on. You're on. You should start. I've got fuel. There we go. Beautiful. Lights on. Go. Here's Stu checking out the island. Engine stalled. Engine didn't want to start. She started though, it was just my mixtures, I had the mixtures off. Uh, super lean. Getting close to this mountain resort, because that's pretty cool. Kabiang Tunnel, I don't know if I've never seen that. I wonder where that is, it's in this direction. Is Garwin testing out his VR. I'm jealous. We can put flaps up now. Room away. Beautiful. No, it's okay. I can, as long as I can keep up with chat. Sometimes when you when you write something along like that, or now I can sort of, while we're cruising here, over Batangan Cove. Uh, so, you try to download Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes, it's huge. XP11 doesn't really work because I lifted into the air above Lex and the game crashed. Oh, it's no good. Lots of glitches. I have got the power for VR. I know. I know, Stu. I know. I know. Uh... Tempting. Tempting, tempting, tempting. Oh, that's what... Is that a tunnel? Uh, but it's like a tunnel in the middle. Oh, it's a road tunnel. Okay, that's... I was wondering what sort of tunnel it was. It's just a tunnel following the road. That's a pretty cool road, though. Going through here. And then along the coast. Look at that. That's stunning. Look at that shot. Absolutely stunning. I'm looking forward to trying to land the float plane on this really small dirt strip. I could land no problems with tyres, but I haven't tried to, try to land with uh, the float wheels on this island resort. Mountain range, we're getting closer to it. Your <laughs> dog has hiccups. <laughs> I 
I think this uh, flight will be wrapped up very in a, probably in the next 45 minutes, guys. But uh, there's another awesome, awesome shot of some detail on that beach that uh, he's put in. It's really good. It's got some smoke. Someone's got a campfire up in the hills. Getting close to the mountain resort. We'll go check out this island. We'll do a bit of a swing around. When's the next stream? I've got to schedule them. The first one will be my Friday. Oh, that's a nice place to come in. I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, my Friday night will be SnowRunner. So that'll be, if you, it depends where you are in the world. But uh, other than Aussie, <laughs> Uh, if you're in the other hemisphere, that'll be your morning on Friday or very early morning on Friday. Uh, I may do one. I always, I do one during the week now only if I have time. So it's not really scheduled. So I've been scheduling them, but I haven't been able to do them. So I'm not going to schedule my last minute, potential last minute ones anymore. I've done that too often and I haven't been able to be at them so I'm going to no longer schedule meet week ones I'm just going to do them if I'm available oh love this love this this is so pretty Gonna be a hard one. Ooh. Ah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, no problems. Just remember, do not flare with floats. Oh, sorry, Garwin. That's what I just did. <laughs> All right. All right, so we don't have much here. We're just going to put this on fast motion. So we've got a couple of campers. We've got some boats that have come here. We've got one tent. Uh, got lots of birds in the air. How oh, are these birds? What, what? Oh, it's Stu. It's Stu. Whoa. What a swoop, swoop in, swoop out. With the floats on water, you want to skip and settle down. This is the one thing X Plane 12 got right. Ah. Thank you, Garland. Well, that's a nice ship. Some good detail on that. That's the free. That's that's free, that too. It's not part of seafront simulations. On land, you flare, you crash. On land, you flare, you crash. All right, that, there's not much scenery in that section in terms of buildings and stuff so that's okay all right let's get in the air and we're going to go go into this mountain resort so this is going to be fun this one i potentially will crash guys if you want to see the wombat crash this is the time to not switch off up again how's the fuel looking we are mighty fine but i only get the total fuel on my other screen so got two off seafront simulations 
Seafront simulations is the best. Remember, I'm all about the visuals in flight sim and the and the GA aircraft. Slow and low. So if there's anything that's going to enhance my experience with the visuals, scenery, I normally grab it. And seafront simulations is a must. There's definitely plenty of seafront going on in here as well, but some of these static boats are not seafront. Some of these moving ones aren't seafront as well. That's the free moving boats mod, uh, which is integrated with the scenery package of the resorts. There you go, got some people there with the canoe again up on the beach. Uh, but out there, that is seafront. A lot of that is seafront. I've also got the free shipping mod, so I've got everything. And she runs brilliantly. At go and tell me about a landing in JFK, hit a freaking tree. All right, we're coming up. Mount resort time. Get your relaxing walking shoes on. We're going mountain. Bracken. So these are all campsites. These are campsites that you can do uh, in real life. So you can bring up your boat jump out, camp, all on these little beaches. These are camp beaches, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, we're gonna head over and show you where we're gonna try to land. With floats, with wheels on the floats. We're going to go check out the resort up here. So it is some tiny. As I said, I could land here with wheels. I have not tried with floats. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be bumpy. Oh no. He's taken the little... He's, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, he's taken the... There used to be a shack there. He's taken that away. That's the matter. We're still going to land there. There's a shack in there that's not there. In oh, which was in the previous version. I'll have to send that off to him. There's a beach resort. So we're going to land at that airfield in right there. But I'm, I'm, there used to be a really cool little uh, shack there with people cooking with a barbecue and stuff. Not there with the current version I have. Maybe he'll add it back, or maybe it wasn't there in real life and he took it away, which is fair. There used to be a helipad up there as well. He has to add that back. I don't know if you guys can see that strip. Uh, you can definitely land there if you want. Someone's got a fire going over here. There's a camp going over there. Another one on the beach. Wombat, don't crash. Wombats require to be on the ground. Definitely know that. All right. Throw the gear down, buddy. Ready for some slow... The updraft, this would be awesome. Oh, no, nah, I'm too high. This would be awesome with a glider going. I can't go down. The thing won't go down. Way too, way too fast, I think. But there's no, there's no building at the end anymore. God, I'm leaving it fine, aren't I? Hey! Ooh! That was just bumpy. Oh, there's still a horse here!
I was pretty poor, but you know what? I survived. I didn't end up in the trees. It's a win. All right, we'll just leave us idle in here away. Put the park brake on so we don't roll down the hood. We'll go have a look. So normally there's a big shack here and it's not here at the moment. So that's obviously either something part of the update that he's done that he hasn't fixed. We'll say good day to you. The great. It's very dangerous, yeah. All right, let's go and check out the resort. So we go up this path, go for a bit of a wander. Oh, look at this, he's even got a stone paved, nice. There's a nice resort. Beautiful. We've already seen this model though. As I said, he's he uses models. So I think he's gonna add he has added in the current one that you can get off flight sim actually has a helipad up here as well. But obviously he's doing some updates to this area potentially. Cool, let's go take off. Oh, just trees there. That's a shame. All right, let's go. Are we getting a massive crosswind? No, we're good. Picks off. Picks off. down. Gear up. It's a great little runway to land on though. Love it. So the pretty much we're heading now to our destination no there's one there's one more big thing which is the lighthouse so we'll go check that out because that's pretty cool got some cows on it milk and cows absolutely brilliant try landing on the yacht it gives you a magic floating powers <laughs> Uh, so still some, maybe you'll do some extra stuff down here. We've got some fires up in the tr trees here. Maybe someone's camping. That'll be a pretty brilliant place to camp. That's what I say. This is absolutely stunning. Love it. Love it. Sasha, hello Sasha. Land in the water, please. Sasha's back and tell him to land in the water. I have got a landing in the water coming up. But We've done quite a few landings, so we'll just keep it, uh, we'll do it very soon. But I will definitely land in the water for you. Oh, shoo, some formation flying. Oh, he's doing some tricks. He's still enough. He's brave. What I can do for you, man, I can do a touch and go at this island coming up. That's what I'll do. I'll do a touch and go. Because we're not going to land anywhere. So we're not going to do any full stops until we get to the... Uh... So that island out there will definitely... Let's do a flyby down here, and then we'll pull back out to that island and do a landing. People at this stage are probably saying, we can only see so many pit, so many beaches, Wombat. We can only see so many buildings, Wombat. How's that fuel looking? Gotta check tanks. Just a flyby. So we've got, again, some campers down here. So again, lots of attention to detail oh. 
Uh, hi, how is everyone? I have Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I fly VATSIM. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not a VATSIM person, I'm a GA. I'm a GA person, just wanted to check out the sites. Uh, so this is a free mod that you can get on flightsim.to. And I'm just showing that off. To anyone who wants to grab it, it is a work in progress, but uh, we've already seen some pretty high detail. A lot of it is using, uh, well, all of it is using um, free dependencies, so you will get repeated buildings and things like that, but just generally the detail to areas that you get to see a lot more than the standard flight sim detail. So here we go, we'll be able to have a look and do a touch and go for Sasha over here. Near this island. Maybe we can do it between the two islands. There's two little islands here. Let's touch and let's. Oh, we could just pull up there. We'll do. It. We won't stop. We'll just start, go to idle and then. Uh, because we're pretty much close to the end, guys. The bit. Of, it's just a bit of a leg to get to our last runway, the last airfield. But that's no sightseeing. Pretty much direct route for out there. But this is this area here is pretty cool when we're going to fly over now. Yeah, touch and go between these. Oh, there's a sandbar there. We'll touch and go before it, and then we'll quickly get over the sandbar. We're going to have a crosswind. We're going to have a crosswind. This is so cool. So cool. Touch and go. Here we go. We could uh, float right up to the sandbar, quickly throw out the wheels, roll over the sandbar into the other side. We are coming in pretty fast, pretty hot. Pretty hot, especially now that I'm uh, putting our nose right down. Yeah, we're probably going to end up going over the sandbar, but you know what? We can do that. We'll get ready to put the gears down. See what happens. Might have to... There we go. <laughs> that wasn't really a touch and go, was it? It was a touch and sandbar and sand and, and sort of go. Nicely done. Good at your bread, please. Legend himself. The only thing is, I probably kept the uh, the rudders down when <laughs> when I um, went over that, but that's okay. It was pretty much picture perfect because you didn't notice that. Don't know if you've been watching all flaps up. Uh, Brett, but uh, we're just showing off some. I'm showing off this uh, free Manila Bay Resorts. Well, it's not really Manila Bay. It's just outside of Manila Bay. But he has done a little bit of work around Manila itself on the beach. Just added some heliports and stuff. But it's stunning. Absolutely brilliant. So we're going out to the lighthouse to go feed the cows. And uh, But it's, it's just, just awesome. If you look back at it, some of the scenery, the detail, it's free. Uh, is stunning. You can even see some around here. Canoes, rocks, but there's resorts done, there's everything. And you'll see when I get to the lighthouse all the detail over there as well. Oh, sorry. Click that around. Oh, there's also a ship here that's sinking. 
That's another thing they've put in here. He hasn't forgotten the detail. Oh no, the lighthouse is not in there. Oh, that's just... Oh no, it is in there. Sorry, I thought he had forgotten. So this is the latest version. The one on flightsim.to is uh, still pretty much all of what you've seen. It's just the first resort and all the detail around that first resort is not in the current version. He said he'll release that sh in the next few weeks. That uh, uh, he sent me the latest version pretty much a few hours ago. That he's about to release, which is still a work in progress. All right. Yeah, you can see the ship sinking. And then basically from here, we just head to the last uh, runway, guys. So last airfield. So this is basically... Our last stop before we finish. We'll pull up here and I'll show you around this uh, island. Lighthouse Island. No problems. Well, I, I've got to actually, I've never used that sim in my life, so. I probably need to do some practice before I um, use it. You can help? Awesome. You can jump on my Discord and maybe just offline, off stream, you can uh, maybe take me through the ropes and teach me. All right, let's uh, turn everything off. This uh, and then go have a bit of a look around. We'll throw the anchors down. We'll leave everything here ready to go. We'll leave everything on. I'm just going to do a bit of a quick look around. This is our last real look around. Um, let me just slow you down. All right, cool. So obviously, oh, that's a bit slow. That's it. We got some detail, obviously all the rockery and everything, obviously the lighthouse. Oh, what a shot, Stu. That is a shot of, that is a shot. What a great time to fly past, Stu. That was brilliant. That's going to be a screenshot somewhere. It's going to be a new thumbnail, Stu flying by. I love that. We got some cows moving around here. Look at that. They move. They're not static. He's made sure he's used the good, uh, the good stuff. God, imagine this, uh, this place wouldn't survive in a massive storm. I don't think that would be there in real life, but maybe it is. This would be a great short. Yep. Done. Who wants to do a flyby? Let me turn. I'm going to sit here. You can do a flyby of the island against you, wherever you are. I'm, I'm going to stay in this view of my plane. And I'm going to turn off the... Uh... Oh, it doesn't matter. Keep keep your name tag on there, because then you'll be on the, on the short. Can you find the flyby shoe? I'm going to hold it here for a minute. Yeah, how good is it, Sasha? Like, this is free. This is free. I'm going to go through and uh, go post the link again uh, for this. So give me a second. You can just watch you uh, hopefully do a flyby or Garwin or Icarus. They're going to probably have to slew to get here. Um, but I'm just going to get some details for you guys. For this, there is a lot of, as uh, Garwin said at the start of the stream, there is a lot of dependencies you need uh, for this. Stu crashed. You hit the sea. I will slew it back. Um, so that's where you get that's where you get this mod from, uh, and CLI4D, Clear 4D. CL, he's actually got a YouTube page too where he puts all his uh, models and stuff and mods that he puts on there. And it's named the same for his YouTube channel. Um, and his development updates are on there too. So 
Um, I'm definitely going to be sending a couple of dollars his way. I'm going to put his channel in here because... There you go. That's his channel where he showcases his stuff. Do you know Captain Cairns? Oh, there he goes. Icarus has done a flyby. <laughs> oh, you got the yacht. Got my voice on it. I'll stay here for a bit more to get some more flybys, Icarus. Do some more flybys. Come on. Come back. Let me see. That's it. Come towards the lighthouse now. If you can hear me. And I'll, I'll try to get... That's it. I was going to do a landing. That's it. I've got to keep it in the middle for the... Beautiful. Ah, oh, and the lighthouse behind. What a shot. And the cows. All right, we'll get a bit further back. We'll get my aircraft and him flying back over. And then we'll get... Icarus, Icarus to not go into the light. Uh, here he comes. Go to, yep, that's it, that's it. Yeah, nice. Oh, I think you're gonna get... Nice shot. All right. Let's do a flyby. All right, now, what we're gonna do... Oh, oh, I've got to shoot. Nice, Stu. Nice, Stu. Oh, he's coming again. Where is he? Alright, I'll get you again, Stu. Nice one, Icarus. And Stu's coming back again. <laughs> this is great. I could sit here all day and just get you guys doing it. Adrian! And Andrian, yep. Yeah. Hi, I'm down from Indonesia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Got some flybys of this awesome scenery. We're going to get two. Oh, I have a ship that's sinking. Oh, did I miss you that time, Icarus? I did. <laughs> Can you and Stu line up and come over together? Now that's going to be the key. Last, last, come on guys, line up. Icarus and Stu. Can you get a line up together? Come on, Stu, bank... Come on, come on. Just go towards the lighthouse. That's all you got to do. Meet at the lighthouse. Ah, oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. Straight ahead, guys. Stu took out the cow in the house. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's go look at this uh, sinking ship and let's head back to finish the stream. <laughs> what a classic! That's great. Love it. Love it. Love it. How good is it? There you go. So you got the sinking ship. Uh, obviously, hit uh, maybe the reef over at the lighthouse. Oh, there's an what's there an esky there? This is great. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, here he comes again. Icarus is coming again for a flyby of the sinking ship. So is Stu. Alright. Time to head off. Said that a couple of times. Just can't resist. A good, good shot. I love making videos of flight sim. Absolutely making them. Editing them and, and getting the right shot. I actually really enjoy that part. Of oh, YouTube. All right. The only thing is I don't have time to uh, do it a lot of the time. 
need to get you started up. Oh, uh, oh I was going to go and go over the wreck here. Well, lift off, aren't you lifting off? There we go. The hardest way to fly from this direction. Welcome to 16 viewers. Great to have you on board. We're checking out the free scenery uh, at the moment of Manila Bay, the resorts. We've been flying over it. We're pretty much at the end of it. We're just going to fly to our destination. But the place is absolutely marvellous. Beautiful. So definitely, I, I if you want to grab it, go grab it. I've got the link just above in the chat. Uh, and it's in below in the chat and in the chat. Uh, so absolutely loving it and I'm going to be flying here a lot by myself as well because it's just fun just to check out some of the stuff I know you guys on the, flying with me don't have it but you should grab it because you're, you're missing out so we'll just do one fly over at this uh, area here so all these models are pretty much stock but all the rockeries and stuff We've got some boats, some canoes or the, is it but everything else along this coast going up there, you will find towards Manila Bay, is all pretty much modelled. All the little coves, camping grounds, resorts, uh, canoes, kids and stuff mucking around on the uh, around on the beach. Pete, there's moving models, animated models, sorry, uh, all sorts of cool stuff. So highly recommended. Uh, CLI 4D or Cliff 4D is uh, the developer's name on flightsim.to and he's got a YouTube channel that shows off his goodies like this. Still sleeping. Still sleeping. Well, after this, I'm going to be going to take... Uh... Oh, there's Stu. So we're heading back now. Finish the flight. Uh, I'm going to be taking my two... Uh, or hanging out with my two... Uh, miniature dashies one's a one's a pup Garwin's already there waiting How long is the flyback? Not long at all. I couldn't give you... Actually, I can give you the... No, it's not working. Uh, see if, 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 if... What pilot works? That autopilot, right? Yeah, autopilot works and... That could work. We have to go over here and put these nuts on GPS. We'll see. I don't think it's working, but we'll see. So where Garwin is out there, he's pretty much there, I think. So it's not very far. Probably uh, 10 minutes.
Yeah, there's not many actual airfields around here, so... This was the closest airstrip, so everyone could land without needing water if they didn't have floats. Palatangan Airstrip. RPCA. Yeah, Sasha, I think we got some really good flyby shots there. I'm actually pretty impressed with uh, Stu and Icarus's flyby flyby uh, there, flybys there, and Stu took out the cow in the house, so that was pretty cool. Someone's in the P-38 over there. So, Garwin, if you're still in chat, you didn't fly. So, VR is all good now, yeah? You, you, are you satisfied now with how VR is running? Oh, and probably Icarus, too. Do lots of low flying. Yes. I know, you love your low flying. You're like me, we love our low flying. It's because, I'll tell you what happened, I used to play a game called, I still have it, uh, Captain of Industry, I still love it, one of my favourites. Captain of Industry is basically what I launched my channel on, or one of, Flight Sim was what I launched it on, but when I started getting a bit more serious with YouTube, I went onto a, this Captain of Industry and I launched it, I pretty much released on launch day and I was quite active and I got to the community and... I made a decision after that, and I got lots of subs. Like, I reckon a thousand of my subs was just from them. They haven't unsubbed me, but anyway. And I, and I don't play it that much. I don't play it at all on stream or on videos. Been waiting for quite a few updates, so I am due to play it again. But I made a decision back then that I wasn't going to stick to one, one, one game or one sim. Because I felt I didn't want to get bored or frustrated that I had to wake up or I had to go into a stream and I had to play the same sim or the same game. And uh, that would kill me if I was doing it. Because remember, YouTube to me is a hobby. It's not a. It's not going to be an income stream or anything like that. Anything that comes from uh, donations or memberships goes straight to, back to the channel as I did last month. I did lots and lots of giveaways. Probably gave away more than I earned. That didn't bother me because I gave away to the great community, but uh, I don't want to be stuck on the same game. So those people are probably frustrated that I don't play Captain of Industry, and I was pretty serious on it and played it and really early on, and and I got a lot of stuff. And then now there's obviously other people who are still playing Captain of Industry, and they've obviously all gone over to there. So I reckon at least a thousand of my subs are from that one alone game, and I don't want that. I'm lucky that a lot have an unsub, but... But, again, as you said, it doesn't help me because none of those thousand watch my videos anymore. So, anyway, it is what it is. It doesn't bother me. One thing I found with YouTube is it just... It just if you keep making content and you love what you're doing, you'll get subs. And subs go up and down. I love VR, just don't have the power to stream in VR at the moment. 450 of my 500 are from dog videos. Yeah, when is your next stream? I stream this time on Flight Sim every week. But my next stream will be probably SnowRunner, uh, which will be on Friday. So I do one, I would like to get a second stream of Flight Sim happening. I just don't have the time. I own a business and I'm, I'm yeah, and I'm, I'm uh, pretty busy. So, yeah. Uh, this exact time. This time for Flight Sim. Uh, this exact time I'll be flying next week. 
uh, and it starts my time. It started an hour and a half, uh, two, two, two hours ago, an hour and a half ago. Um, and your and the snow runner on Friday Aussie time be, I think it's ten o'clock or nine thirty p.m. or it could be around that time anyway, uh, which is normally the morning for most of you if you're in the other hemisphere. SnowRunner is a great game. For its age, it is really good. And now it looks like we've fixed the multiplayer issue. We can now have four players rather than just two. So, which is even better. You always get a laugh out of SnowRunner, no matter what. If you watch the one that we did the, uh, yesterday, just the amount of times uh, I tipped the truck <laughs> uh, when I tried not to. UK time, please. All right, so UK time, this one, I'm going to guess. Depends where you are. I think I'm just going to say London time, but I, obviously that includes a lot of different areas. Uh, 9.30 p.m. And which would mean the SnowRunner one, that's, that's the flight sim one. And the SnowRunner one would probably, I'm guessing, 9.30 a.m. or because I do it at 9.30, it's about 9.30 a.m. on Friday. Then I then we also do a farming sim or another SnowRunner run, stream on 9.30 p.m. Saturday night for you. So we've, we've got three streams we're currently doing, I'm doing. Oh, there's, a, there's an airfield here where we're landing. So we're here, that's it. Garwin's waiting for us there, patiently. Looks like Shu is as well. Icarus is coming into land. He is down. So I got the no Christmas music today. Every stream when I have a playlist, not a playlist, I just have a general list playing. A Christmas song comes into there. Eight landing from that view. Oh, much of a airfield, but we're here. Nice flight, gents, ladies, and everyone else. You guys can hold on a sec. I'm going to get a screenshot, all right? So give me a sec once I line this up. Stick these wheels up and see. There we go. Boom. Oh. Let me shut her down. Something different. A bit of a scenic flight. You're a boy. <laughs> uh. Um, thank you, Stu. Thank you, Garwin. Thank you, Icarus, for flying along today. Thank you, everyone in chat and recently Space Podcast. Sasha, transformational gaming. This is great. Thanks for dropping in, mate. Uh, and, oh, what's number 22? What was number 22, Stu? Um, and, uh, yeah, Icarus, that was awesome. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the scenery. Uh, I'll definitely recommend you all to go pick that up. Uh, even if you only load it for a one-off flight and enjoy that scenery and then uninstall it because uh, he's put a lot of work into it and it's free, okay? And again, it's free. Uh, and if you do like it, why don't you send him a couple of dollars for his efforts because it's free. Uh, 
So Farm Sim, yes, Farm Sim is on this coming weekend. We will be back on the farm logging away. Our uh, sawmill has been busy. It has 70,000 litres of timber, as they say. It's litres. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we will have lots to uh, move around. Yeah, no, it's okay, mate. No problem, SpacePod. I understand. All good. Uh, can I join you on the farm? Sasa, jump onto my Discord. Uh, I normally just allow members, because I pay for a server that runs all the time, Sasha. So I normally only allow members to jump on the farm. Uh, so jump on to my Discord, we can have a chat, we can work something out, but um, I might give you a bit of a trial run, and if you like it, then you'll just have to become a member, uh, or something like that. But uh, yeah, jump onto my Discord. Yes, Stu is 100% right, you have to be a member to be on the farm, because I pay for a server to stay up. Uh, that's the main reason you need to be a member, because it helps me pay for that. But yeah, I could let you just do a trial run on off stream just to get you on there and then you can make a decision. But watch some of my streams. Uh, but if you uh, hit the gold membership, you can jump on all you want on the farm. Anytime, it runs 24 seven as well. All right, let's get uh, our super special wombat parachuted in. He's jumped out of his plane, the game, it's over. That's all right, space pod, I understand. Not Again, as I said, everything goes back to uh, it's my hobby and I just want to give joy to others or provide servers like farming sim to others as well uh, But uh, yeah, thanks legends. You've all been awesome today. It's I actually really love that stream I know for some of you who are flying or all you guys flying you didn't get to see the scenery, but uh, you got to see it on stream Chill guys. Have a good one. I'll see you around. You're all legends and thanks for the, all the support members likes you name it and I'll be back for more. Just check out the schedules uh, in YouTube. I always schedule them. I try to schedule them a few days early, if not a week earlier. There's Viper, three o'clock low. Stay with Hollywood, Mav, we're his cover. Don't you leave me, Maverick. Hollywood, you're looking good. I'm going after Viper. 